stuck at home, let's do science. Hi scientists, I'm Mariela from the California Science Center. There is so much science we can learn just by taking a step outside. And at the California Science Center, science starts as soon as you leave your car. The first thing you may notice as you leave your car is the sound of birds. The birds you may find around the California Science Center are house sparrows, black phoebes, or hummingbirds. Bird watching is a great way to use your five senses. They may use their nose to smell the flowers, their eyes to see animal tracks, and their ears to hear the birds. Here at the California Science Center, you can walk our trail to use your five senses too. A self-guided tour? What a great way to start your trip. Oh man, this is a new lab coat. But as I said earlier, you can learn science by just stepping outside. Um, this actually reminds me of a fun activity we can try. Meet me inside. Hey scientists, now that I'm all cleaned up, let me tell you what you need. Construction paper, any color. You're gonna need water, paint, a Ziploc bag, and some kind of drawing utensil. Anything really works. I'll give you a moment to get what you need. We drew birds on our Ziploc bags for fun. Add paint into your bag. Water can be added to change the consistency of your bird poop. Cut the tip off of your bag and be careful that your paint doesn't spill out. All animals, including birds, poop to get rid of their waste. Scientists can learn a lot about poop, like diet and health. They can also learn about patterns, like the height when the poop was dropped, whether the bird was moving or standing still, and the thickness of the bird poop. Hope that wasn't too messy. And now that your paint has dried, let's see what we see. Let's make some art. Hmm. Do you notice any patterns in our bird poop? Are the drops large or small? Does our bird poop look like yours? What image did your bird poop make? Hope you're feeling a little less stuck at home. See you next time. Be sure to visit our website Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. for more stuck at home science activities.